Hello, I'm Gary Cleveland with Cleveland Helicopter Services in Plymouth, Indiana. And I want to put together transverse flow effect, effective translational lift, in a normal helicopter takeoff using the runway, as you would during a helicopter check ride. An experienced helicopter pilot will learn to do these inputs almost instinctively so that he can track straight down the runway and keep the nose pointed straight on his takeoff. We'll recap, transverse flow effect happens as you approach approximately 20 knots according to the helicopter flying handbook. Slight vibration, slight roll to the right. ETL or effective translational lift, 16 to 24 knots. This is when the entire rotor system is operating in clean air. Less induced flow, greater angle of attack, even if the angle of incidence was not changed. We'll talk in detail about those aerodynamics in another video. The tail rotor is also getting clean air on the takeoff, and the aircraft is acting like a weather vane. The fuselage is actually helping the aircraft to maintain straight flight. Given the skin of the aircraft, given the vertical stabilizer of the aircraft, therefore the pilot will have to reduce the pitch that was needed in the tail rotor at the pre-takeoff hover. So let's put this together. in a takeoff scenario. Helicopter takes off, approximately 20 knots according to the helicopter flying handbook, slight vibration, aircraft rolls, rolls to the right. The pilot will instinctively add left cyclic. Whatever's necessary to keep it tracking straight on the runway. This could change due to winds, this could change due to loading. But generally, the pilot will have to add a little bit of left cyclic on takeoff. 16 to 24 knots, greater angle of attack for the same angle of incidence because reduced induced flow, increased angle of attack, whole rotor system is operating in clean air. The helicopter is going to want to climb because it has all this additional lift. Forward on the cyclic slightly to keep the helicopter low to the runway and stay out of the shaded area of the height velocity diagram. Height velocity diagram will be another video. The pilot will also have to add some right pedal, reducing the pitch in the tail rotor. A combination of these inputs will cause the helicopter to track straight down the runway and to stay out of the shaded area of the height velocity diagram until it's time to gain altitude on the takeoff. I hope this was helpful. Please put your comments below and we'll see you in the next video.